Hello, my name's Gabe and it's time for another Hawkeye Tech Tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install a through-hole transducer. The through-hole transducer is suitable for outboards, inboard outboards, single or dual inboard, or jet drive propulsion. Hole dead rise angle must be below 20 degrees. Fiberglass or metal hole materials. The hole cannot be constructed of wood. If you think this transducer is not suitable for your vessel, contact us and we'll be happy to review your installation plan and offer suggestions for alternative transducer options. Let's begin by unpacking and reviewing the contents of the packaging. In the package, there should be a through-hole transducer, 30 feet of cable, and a connector, a rubber gasket, and a plastic nut. Water temperature models have the temperature sensor integrated inside the transducer. If you do not have any of these items, please contact support at norcrossmarine.com and we'll rush one out to you. The tools and supplies required for this installation are safety goggles, a power drill, an eighth inch drill bit, a two inch hole saw, marine sealant, zip ties, cleaning rags, and a mild cleaning solvent. If you're going to be storing the vessel in water, you're also going to need water-based anti-fouling paint and masking tape. Now let's get started. To obtain the best performance, the transducer should be mounted in a location where the water flow beneath the hull is aeration and turbulence free. Try to mount the transducer as close to the center line of the boat as possible. Consult the boat manufacturer for the best transducer placement. If this information is unavailable, follow the guidelines in the installation manual. To get a good view of the mounting location, with the vessel out of the water, position yourself at the transom and look at the bottom of the hull towards the bow. Using the illustrations in the manual, note anything that could interrupt the clean flow of water to the transducer mounting location. After selecting the mounting location, place the rubber gasket inside the hole against the mounting location. Ensure that there's at least a half inch of flat surface area around the rubber gasket. Place the mark in the center of the mounting location. Drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole around the mark. If there's a rib, strut, or other hole irregularly on the hole bottom near the selected mounting location, drill from the outside. Using a 2 inch hole saw, cut a hole from the outside of the hole. Using sandpaper and a mild household detergent, sand and clean the area around the hole. Make sure to remove all rough spots and petroleum residue. Remove the nut and rubber gasket from the sensor. Apply a bead of marine sealant around the lip of the sensor housing. From outside the hole, feed the cable through the hole, plug first, into the mounting hole until all the cable is inside the hole. Insert the sensor into the hole using a twisting motion to squeeze out all the excess sealant. From inside the hole, align the arrow on the housing towards the bow of the vessel. Slide the rubber gasket onto the housing. Screw the hole nut into place, being sure that the arrow on the housing is still positioned forward toward the bow. When tightening the nut, it is imperative that you hand tighten only. Never use wrenches or pliers to tighten the nut as over tightening can damage the transducer and may lead to sinking. Remove the excess sealant on the outside of the hole. Finally, route the cable to the display mounting location and connect it to the display. Now that you've installed the transducer, allow sufficient drying time for the sealants and learn the setup and basic functions of the depth finder. Let's get out on the water and put it to work. If you're not happy with the on-water performance of your depth sounder, we're here to help. Rest assured that this depth sounder is engineered to the highest standards and is part of the best-selling family of depth sounders in the world. It is highly likely that your dissatisfaction is due to improper installation. Nine times out of ten, performance issues are the result of improper installation of the transducer. I cannot stress enough the transducer must be mounted so that it has an uninterrupted supply of clean, aeration-free water. If the depth finder gives accurate readings while the vessel is sitting still, but changes to dash lines while the vessel is moving, it is almost always the result of aeration to the transducer face. In this case, you should review the transducer installation guide and adjust the transducer as suggested. Thanks again for purchasing a Hawkeye depth finder. Here at Norcross Marine Products, we strive for 100% customer satisfaction. If you have a problem with your depth sounder, 
First, review the operator's manual, then rewatch this video. If you can't find a solution to the problem, feel free to call us at 888-7-NORCROSS during normal business hours. 24-hour technical support is available online at hawkeyeelectronics.com where you can search our online knowledge base for the latest troubleshooting and FAQs or post your own question for our support staff. For one-on-one -on -one support, please email support at norcrossmarine.com. Now get out there and enjoy your freedom.